Television Authority, the NTA, Africa's largest television network, has continued to maintain its dominance in the continent's broadcast industry as President of the Senate, Ahmad Ibrahim Lawan, inaugurates NTA Gashua Station. Yunusa Suleiman reports that at the inauguration ceremony of the digital station, the President of the Senate pledges to facilitate the procurement of two utility vehicles and an outside broadcast van for uh, effective service delivery to the benefiting communities. With the cutting of that ribbon by the President of the Senate, Ahmed Ibrahim Lawan, flanked by the Director General of the NTA, Yaqub Ibn Mohammed, and other dignitaries, NTA Geshua is formally inaugurated to commence transmission. The inauguration of the station is a historic moment in the history of the ancient town of Geshua and the entire Yobe North Senatorial District as the station finally comes on air 21 years after the idea for its establishment was conceived. With state-of-the-art digital equipment, NTA Geshua now transmits on channel 33 UHF from the 2.5 kilowatts digital transmitter which has the capacity to radiate signal up to 150 kilometers radius. The NTA, of course, here will provide the opportunity for the people to have their responses, their reactions, and their feedbacks on the various projects the various programs of the federal government and even the state government. I stand here today and boldly call on the Yobe state government, the body local government authorities, and the entire Gashua community to take possession of what rightly belongs to you. Take possession, protect it, and guard it jealously. The medium is expected to initiate local programs aimed at informing, educating, and entertaining hundreds of viewers within its area of coverage. The DG NTA, Yaqub Ibn Mohammed, anchors the first official live discussion program that featured President of the Senate, where issues on how the station can impact positively on the lives of people in the area took center stage. From Gashua, Yunusa Suleiman, NTA News. Meanwhile, the Speaker, House of Representatives,